welcome to Petro Proficient. This video describes the purpose and use of tubular goods called casing, used in the construction of oil and gas wells. By the time, a well is drilled to its final depth, it usually has several strings of casings. They are termed as, conductor casing, surface casing, intermediate casing and production casing. You may notice that as the well is drilled deeper, the size of the hole and size of the casing gets smaller in diameter. The full-length well looks like a telescope pulled out to full length. Formations near surface tend to cave in. Therefore, conductor casing is installed at surface. The conductor casing prevents washouts of poorly consolidated surface formations while drilling the surface hole. Should the surface erode, or become unstable, drilling rig may become unstable. Conductor casing normally has a large diameter in the range of 16 to 30 inches. It is either set with a spud rig or driven to the point of refusal with a drive or vibration hammer. Setting depths is normally 90 to 200 feet and rarely deeper than 300 feet. The surface casing string is designed to protect formations near the surface from deeper drilling conditions. The surface casing string has several important functions. First, it protects shallow freshwater sands from contamination by drilling fluids and produced fluids. Surface casing is cemented back to the surface so fresh water zones will have a cement sheath and a steel casing to protect them. Depth and cement requirements are mandated by regulatory agencies. Surface casing allows you to drill to the next casing seat. The EPs are installed on the surface casing. The surface casing is designed so that the casing can be totally shut in using surface equipment. When drilling into abnormal pressure, Casing seats must be able to withstand increasing mud weights. Casing should be set deep enough to prevent broaching to the surface. Finally, surface casing supports all casing strings run in the well, subsequently. An intermediate casing string provides hole integrity for drilling operations in deeper sections of the well. This intermediate string protects formations behind it from exposure to high mud weights. It also prevents drilling fluid contamination during underbalanced drilling. If influx of formation fluids takes place, and formation fluids, sometimes gas, enters the well bore, drilling fluid will be forced from the well bore at surface. This is referred to as a kick. In order to stop the formation to well bore fluid flow, the surface control equipment must be closed or partially choked off. This will result into a positive surface pressure. The intermediate casing needs to be designed to withstand the surface pressure during a kick. The intermediate casing covers low fracture gradient formations, it maintains well bore integrity while circulating a well kick out of the well bore. Intermediate casing also allows you to control the well if it is swabbed in, or if gas influx causes the evacuation of drilling fluids from the well. The production casing is set and cemented through the producing zone. It acts as a backup for the tubing string during production. It is the primary string responsible for isolating the production intervals. This string must be able to withstand full wellhead shut-in pressure if the completion or production tubing leaks or fails. After cementing the production casing, 
Perforations are made in the casing and cement sheath which allows formation fluids to enter the well bore. When replacing the tubing or downhole tools during well maintenance operations, you must make sure the production casing will allow you to kill the well, circulate work over fluids, and carry out pressure testing. One of the main purpose of using a casing is because it provides with consistent and known internal diameter. This is critical when utilizing special downhole tools such as packers that require these conditions. These tools are commonly inserted into the casing during completion and production operations in order to isolate the well bore at desired points. In the past, it was common to have several strings of casing in a deep well. All these strings extended from the wellhead to different depths. However, another method was devised to save time and cost and to accommodate varying well conditions. This time and cost saving method involves hanging of a casing string from the bottom of a cemented casing string. These hanging casing strings are called liners, and they are used in almost every deep well completion. A drilling liner is a string of casing that is hung from another casing of a larger diameter which has already been cemented downhole. It is used to case off open holes so that deeper drilling may be performed. A production liner is a string of casing that is hung from a drilling liner or casing in the producing formation. This type of liner is then cemented and perforated to connect the reservoir to well bore. Please subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about new videos.